We're coming to you from the Miracle Center. It's the last day of the Prophetic Fire Conference and we have seen God move so powerfully during this conference. I'm joined by Candice and she's been healed of fibromyalgia and she's been suffering for about eight years with this condition. You tell us firstly more about um, your story. Um, the doctors couldn't really figure out where the pain was coming from. I've been in and out of hospital for the past eight years. Eventually they diagnosed me with fibromyalgia um, and it is something that consumes your life. Uh, you can't plan for the next day because you don't know how you're going to feel. Um, I've had pins and needles even when I touch my daughter's hair. It's like I'm touching glass and all of that feeling, that sensation in my hands are gone. Um, even with walking, um, I had to tell myself, you know, take the next step, take the next step. I was invited by, uh, by my family. I learned so much by the word that the pastor gave and it built my faith. And uh, when I came up, you know, I was just ready to receive healing. Father, in the name of Jesus, I curse this demon of fibromyalgia. I curse it in the name of Jesus. I curse it in the name of Jesus. I curse it in the name of Jesus. Come out of it now! The devil in Jesus' name. Come out. You will never come back into this body. Let go of her spine. Oh, let go of her spine. Pick her up, pick her up, pick her up. What was wrong with your spine, sweetie? I know you, you got fibromyalgia. Uh, you had the doctor said you have fibromyalgia. Yeah. Say that was the past. It was the past. What's your, what's your name? Candice. Do you stay? Pochepston. This is the new Candice from Pochepston. This is the new Candice from Pochepston. Now, look at me. You heal. Yes. Let's do some stuff. And let's try and push it. Yes. Because you are healed. Amen. You also have a problem. You have lots of headaches. Yeah. Take care. Go! In Jesus' name. Pick her up, pick her up, pick her up. Oh! <laughs> Come on, walk with me. Walk with me, walk with me. Walk with me, walk with me, walk with me, walk with me. Come on, faster. Come on. Ah. Let's go faster now, right? Let's run. Come on. Pastor Siva made me run, you know, he ran with me and that was something that I couldn't do. Besides getting fatigued, my joints wouldn't allow that. Bend down for me. And um, so I'm really blessed. I'm thankful. I'm thankful to God for, for what he's done. Who's, who's with her? Bend down for me quickly. Bend down. Press her spine. Press her back. Press it. Press it. Press it. What happened to you now? I don't feel pain. Nothing? No. No. But if you ran like that, you would feel it because I was pushing you. Did you, did you get it I out? Couldn't, I couldn't run. You couldn't run? Yeah. Sweetheart, I want you to run around the church and come back again. Quickly, run. Go down the stairs. Up and down the stairs. Up and down the stairs. Come on. I'm not a medical doctor, but I know a little bit about fibromyalgia because I prayed for lots of people and they got healed. And I know what they went through. And I know, that's why I pushed you. Isn't that amazing? Oh. Thank, you. Just so Thank, you. Thank you. Jesus is so good. Just lift your hands and begin to worship. Wow, today we learned so powerfully about healing, the four critical requirements for you to receive your healing. So I want to encourage you to also look at the healing manual for Dr. Sir Mudley, where you can learn more about how you can receive your healing, because healing is guaranteed. Stay tuned to your miracle moment, and remember that miracles are normal.